Welcome to my channel, Light Minded. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about mindfulness and intention. Mindfulness is awareness that arises through paying attention on purpose in the present moment non-judgmentally. Like mindfulness, living with intention requires maintaining a deliberate and ongoing connection to our present moment experience. It also involves guiding our thoughts and actions towards the qualities and experience we most wish to embody. So the other day I was on the internet and I was looking up fun facts. So on average, we make 35,000 decisions a day. That's crazy. Like I, <laughs> Like my mind is like, what, 35,000? So 95% of our daily decision-making takes place in our subconscious. So that's basically like we're running off of autopilot. So thankfully the human mind is efficient enough to handle this job for us. So the tricky thing is, is that our subconscious pulls from stored memories. So it's basically going back to what it knows, going back to the basics. And if you have old beliefs or if you have, you know, memories or actions that no longer serve you, then you could be on this hamster wheel of making decisions and not utilizing your intention and not being mindful of the decisions that you're making. So you want to be aware of your current blueprint because you don't want your subconscious pulling from stored memories and they're not up to date with the current you. So you want your subconscious to pull from the stored memory based on the reality that you currently are creating. That's why it's important for all of us to be so aware of our thoughts. You can take a moment and you can actually direct your mind, hey, watch my thoughts and just be mindful of the thoughts that pop into your mind. Are they positive? Are they constructive? Are they harmful? Are they negative? Some thoughts that pop in your head, you may actually be surprised like, oh wow, why did I just think that? Then it's up to you to take back your power. Are you gonna assume that that thought is true? Are you going to assume that that thought is false? Are you gonna ignore it? Are you going to assign a meaning to that thought? If you're just living on this autopilot mode and you're not being mindful with your thoughts, you could be creating the same life. You can essentially be on a hamster wheel and continue to get the same results. And then you ask yourself, why am I continuing to get the same results? I want to change my life. So if you wanna change your life, you need to change your thoughts. By changing your thoughts, it changes how you feel. And when you change how you feel, that's when you're able to create the reality that you desire. And when you do that, you let the universe know what you actually want to attract into your life. So if you feel that there's certain areas in your life that you would like to upgrade, just think of it as you just need to upgrade your subconscious. You need to catch your subconscious up on your current reality of what you want to attract into your life. We all grow. We all change. We all want different desires. Our dreams and desires change all the time. So you want to make sure, just like you're upgrading a computer, you want to make sure that you loop in your subconscious so your subconscious know, hey, we don't believe that anymore. We don't live with negative thoughts in our head. We don't talk to ourselves negatively. Just remember, there's not one way to get to a destination. You can get there the hard way, the easy way, or in the middle. And I would like to choose the easy way. I would like to choose the way that feels good. Just like the saying, when you work hard, it pays off. Why do we have to work hard? We can attract a lot more into our lives opposed to working hard. So remember, you are the creator of your reality. No one else, no one else has to impact your reality unless you allow them to. So take back your power and make the assumptions true that you want to be true. Really tap into your self-conscious and make sure you're thinking positive or constructive so you don't have those negative thoughts and those old beliefs holding you back and slowing down your manifestations. So there was an exercise that I saw one time um, by Abraham Hicks, look them up. I love Abraham Hicks, I love Esther. And it was basically like when you set your intentions, you're setting your intentions for each scene. So when you wake up in the morning, 
that's a scene. I like to start my morning off with gratefulness. It really just makes me feel good. It really raises my vibration. The next scene is you might be in the restroom brushing your teeth, washing your face. Each of these scenes is an opportunity for you to live intentionally. State to yourself, what are you doing right now in that present moment? You could just be brushing your teeth and be on autopilot, or you can intentionally be brushing your teeth. There's a difference. So make sure each scene of your life, you're setting your intentions. When you're cooking your breakfast, you can set your intentions to cook a breakfast filled with love, filled with good health, good wealth. Every morning when I make my coffee, I infuse it with energy of prosperity and wealth. And I add a little bit of cinnamon to attract a little bit more wealth into my life. It is so many amazing ways that you can utilize your intention and your energy throughout your day. Say you're getting ready for a work meeting and you're not looking forward to it. Why not rewrite that story? Why not set your intentions on how you visualize that meeting going? Do you want the meeting to be productive? Do you want the meeting to be quick? Think about those things when you're setting your intentions. I know a lot of times like, Whenever I go to the grocery store, the first thing I do is I like to envision myself going to the grocery store and it's like, what are your intentions? Well, my intentions are to get a close parking space and be in and out of the store. No lines. And I visualize that and nine times out of 10, typically that is what happened. I feel like a lot of times people let life live them and they're not living life. It's so important to be mindful and to be present. And whenever you add that extra dose of setting your intentions, you will notice a change in your day. You will notice a change in the people around you because your reality is only a reflection of your inside world. So when your inside world is grounded and set with intention, that is what your outside world is going to reflect. So I hope that this video was helpful with giving you guys ways to be present, ways to set your intention. I wish you guys love and abundance. And until next time.